Glasses in photos can sometimes get in the way of those pearly whites. Well, in Photoshop, it's totally possible to get rid of them. Let me show you how. So this is easier than it seems, but it takes a level of detail that you have to be really aware of what you're doing. Removing certain parts of the eyeglasses will be easy enough, like where the blue is that's not even on his face, or removing parts uh, where the side of his head is. That's very easy. But stuff around his eye is going to take a lot of care and a certain amount of reconstruction, like the top of his eyelid, which is being covered by the glasses. Luckily, you only need two tools to do all this, the clone stamp tool and the spot healing brush. So I'm going to show you what this looks like after you're done. See? It's pretty much perfect. But it takes a lot of refinement and a lot of work. So I'll try and go through this as fast as I can. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. And you can see that I duplicated the original layer. That way I always have access to it if I ever need to. And now I'm going to create a new blank layer. And just call it Remove Glasses. Now we're going to grab our clone stamp tool. We're going to set the mode to normal. Opacity at 100%, flow at 100%, sample all layers, and make sure you're doing all your work on the Remove Glasses layer. So we'll start with the obvious and most easy. We'll start right here with this part. So you press S, that's the hotkey for it. We'll make our brush a little bit bigger. You alt click right next to it and just start painting away. As you get closer to details on his actual face, make your brush smaller. You don't want to destroy any parts of the face. Now we're getting closer to the shadow here. So we take special care to make sure that we don't mess with the shadow. And just get right next to his eye, as close as you can. Okay, so we're off to a good start already. Before, after, not bad. Obvious small differences in the shadow, but not a big deal right now. So now we're gonna do next to his head. Same tool, and just slowly, piece by piece, and keep sampling as you're going along. Now once you reach the hairline, go ahead and stop. All you wanna worry about right now is his skin. You wanna make things easier for you as you go along because as you're working, you'll get used to how this tool works and be able to take greater advantage of it. Okay, so that's pretty good. If we zoom out all the way, it's really looking quite nice actually. I don't have to do much uh, much fixing, but if you ever if you did want to, grab the spot healing brush tool and just make little vertical brush strokes and it helps combine the skin a little bit more making it uh, a little bit more seamless between areas of skin. So we're gonna press S, go back into it, and keep working. And like I said, you want to clone around the area of the skin so you get as close to real as possible. That didn't look too good. And also you want to paint in the direction that the wrinkles on Tom Arnold's face is going. That way it helps match. See, now the wrinkles are actually going in a bit of a pattern. Makes things easier. Now go ahead and get your brush smaller because we're getting closer and closer to details. Now we're getting really, really close to the eye. So what we want, and you notice that it's, the glasses are covering a very tiny part of the eye. So what we want to do is get really close up in there, sample this area, and start cloning this part of it. So that way we can literally recreate the eye. There we go, his eye's there now. Now, pay attention to the eyelid. Just keep cloning as you're painting. It's really, really important that you keep sampling around the eye.
Now we're getting a little close to the eyebrow here. So actually, see, it actually adds a little bit of eyebrow. That really helps. And just do it little piece by piece. Because if you do it like, uh, not working. Because you're actually cloning over the original eyeglasses. And it's that's, of course, not what you want. Now we're getting really close to where the eyebrow and eyelid meet. So once again, we're just gonna go over and over and over. And just keep working until you get that eyelash, that eyelid taken care of. Try and use this part as a reference as well. Okay, so that's not looking bad, but you can tell there's definitely areas where I cloned out that just look really, really weird. And that's where the uh, spot healing brush tool comes in. You just do little strokes around the area and help get rid of it. Just, it helps everything blend really nicely. So, zoom back out, look at it so far. With the glasses, without. We're definitely making good progress here. So, I'm just going to go over one more area. I'm not going to do the whole thing because it's all self-explanatory from here on out. This little part of the eye, I want to get rid of, but I'm also going to reconstruct it a little bit. So, grab the clone stamp tool. Sample the area right next to his eye. I'm talking like down to the, to the little area. And there we go, we've reconstructed the eye. But you notice that there's no little pink part that we're used to seeing on eyes. So you sample the pink part on the other eye, click, and just throw it in there a little bit. Zoom out, turn off, turn on, and once you get this all filled out, it'll look very, very natural and you'll be fine. Now I guess I'll do one last thing and that's with hair. So I'm going to zoom in right here, and basically you do it in vertical strokes because the hair is flowing vertically. If it flows horizontally, it's going to look weird. And you just do it to the actual area right above or below the glasses. That way it looks like the hair strands are following each other naturally, and no one will notice. And now you notice I'm going way too far into his hair. Uh, that's my bad. So we'll go backwards. Okay, so we've cloned it through, but it's obvious that it's uh, not f going very well as far as smoothing. So just grab the spot healing brush tool and it'll fix it for you. And just do it in strokes that are reminiscent to the direction his hair is going in. So zoom out, and you can see that you can, well, first of all, you can't tell at all that there was glasses on his hair, and slowly but surely it's disappearing on his face. So all you have to do is follow the contours of his skin, see where the different wrinkles are going, things like that, and clone around it very, very carefully, and use the spot healing brush tool to kind of hide your work. And that's really all there is to it, guys. So, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions or requests about touch-ups or enhancements with Photoshop, please send me an email to requestsatmahalo.com and also rate, comment, and subscribe below.